oh, it's it's more. How many partners are seeing what to do? More and more. I mean, it. Well, I don't know. We're we're. I'd say probably. 30, 40 percent of the people that we test for are running, running shorter initial flows. It's, it's a, it's kind of like, oh, uh, you know, if any of you are pilots, it's kind of like rich a peak versus lean a peak. You know, in the in the olden in the older days, everybody said this is how we do it, and then as time goes by, but but it's not really the case either because I mean that that in that first presentation that I showed that was. That, that, that was from something pulled out of like an Amico testing guideline that was written probably back in the 80s. So, I mean, there's, it's, 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 not like, uh, it's not like Bill Johnson was the first guy that said we need to run a five-minute initial flow. There, there's, there's been, that, that's been, that's, that, that, that's been, uh, oh, it, it, that's it, been it, talked it, about for years. say that Kansas is the only place in the entire world where you run these long initial flow periods. No, Illinois. <laughs> they run longer ones. Okay, there's two places. Everywhere else in the world has been the short period done like that for forever. Hey, Paul, thank you. I was looking at some completion curves from stuff back in the 50s, and they'd run like two and three minute free flows, like shut it and open it up later. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of the same. Yeah, and that, yeah, yeah. when you do those, that, that pressure that's showing on the, your initial buildup is probably pretty close to your real pressure. And yeah, a whole lot closer than you get a 30 minute. This test here, uh, just wanted to throw this one at you. A lot, lot of, lot of funny things going on here, and, and uh, this, this, this test was run over in uh, Pike County, Indiana. Uh, you can tell by the hydrostatic, it's a real shallow test and kind of a, kind of a gassy, gassy test. Uh, uh, over there in, in Indiana, they uh, or Illinois. I mean, they don't really. Oh, I don't know. They, they and it's it's. I, I take that back. It wasn't a gas test. It was more of a water test, actually. Yeah, they recovered water, but for some reason, in, in, in over there in that basin, they have a lot lower bottom hole temperatures. And you can tell here these are actually temperature curves here coming down. Now this this was a straddle test. So this is a straddle recorder here. The red one's a straddle. So that that temperature pretty well stayed the same. And, and, it, and the scale here is from 87 degrees Fahrenheit down to 75. But uh, the odd thing here is, is actually the, the, the zone is colder than the mud. I mean, look at when they open the tool here, they're at 82 degrees. And uh, just during this flow here, they dropped it, dropped it down to, to this about 78 degrees and then everything's stable. And then, then when they open the tool up again, it even cooled it off more. So there's actually the... This is one instance where the where the zone the temperature actually drops as you run the test compared to climbing as you run the test. So it's a real strange deal here. But uh, other than that, just kind of a you know here here there again here's inside and outside recorder. Got a little bit different things going on here. Uh, evidently a little bit of plugging here because see how the see how this recorder here is showing a climb and this recorder here is actually falling off and a little bit flatter. So we we were having a little bit of perforation plugging here. But uh, final flow, kind of the same thing. They end, they end up matching at the end, but uh, there's a there's a discrepancy there between the inside and the outside. But, um, Let me ask you something. When you're out drilling, and you suspect you know, you've got oil on top of water, I mean, would you recommend just drilling the top part and testing that? Or like is it better drill more of the formation to see what everything gives up? Oh, I I'd, I'd try to stay out of the water. Just, I would stay out of the water because you know it's kind of like uh, which grows better in your garden, tomatoes or weeds? <laughs> well, same thing. I mean, chances are the water is going to be the, the the stronger the stronger zone, and and uh, you know if you can stay out of that water and and you know because I've I've seen instances where you could have, you can have water overwhelm oil. I mean, if you in, in, you know, you so if you, you like say if you was going to test the Arbuckle, well, you wouldn't want to drill 50 foot into it and then test that entire interval because the permeability is, chances are it's going to be better further down in, and you could you could overwhelm your oil and and be you know have a negative test when in reality all you did was the water just kept the oil out.
I'm about done. Um, what other questions that can you think of or? I want to know how you've been getting in and out of these tests because I, I had trouble with the program. I, I seem like I got to close the whole program for I can load another test. You've got to. Uh, it depends on how you go into the program. Now, if, if you, you know, like if we email a test to you and you just double click on that attachment as, 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 you know, that well, that's only one you're ever going to get to. If you go ahead and save it into a, 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 a folder on your computer and then go into the program, in other words, double click on the ATMS icon, then you can come and go just like what I've been doing.